Hey everyone, we got a Joe and a Zayas from the Autobitter here. And uh, the other day, like what was it, a week or two ago, we released a video where we did a little benchmark testing with Maestrieth. We were comparing using um, the JSON parser, I think it was a Cocos, I think, compared yeah. to Isaiah had put it into a regex. And so we were testing that. And then also, I think Maestrieth was one that said, let's turn on the set batch lines and we did that. And it was really interesting, the speed comparisons. Yes. And then, as it so happens, like, and I don't know, I didn't ask Geek Dude if it was from it or what, but he happened to mention it. Uh, but he mentioned to me, he was, it's still in pre-release, but he has a library he wrote in C. So this is, it's not machine um, level code, but it's getting down there, right? Where it's, anyway, it should be screaming fast. So I said, hey, uh, this is cool. Let's let's go repeat our experiment. Um, and this time throw in C in using C as well. Um, one interesting conundrum we had was and Isaiah is working on it he's like oh well the the coco one only runs in 32-bit mode Man, and the one Deep from right. Deep Dude is only 64-bit so running them in the same program was it's not quote-unquote impossible but we'd have to fake uh, it right you have yeah, to launch it have once to... and not comment it out and launch it again so yeah. anyway so why don't you go and start sharing your screen and, and yeah. tell us what you've done Let's just double check. But the other thing, which which thankfully I was right on, because I wasn't, I wasn't a hundred percent confident if I was correct. But I said, just the nature of using sixty four bit over thirty two bit, it's going to grab the stuff and process it faster. A little bit right? faster, yes, that's right. Yeah, just agree. Although of yeah. course, there's a sacrifice if you'll use more memory, right? It's not like it's quote unquote free, but in yeah, today's exactly. <laughs> yeah, and, and th at this point, it doesn't really make a difference. You will not even notice it unless you are actually running uh, uh, like a, yeah. a huge amount of data. That's when you will start, you know, noticing uh, the, the difference. Or you're the using the other crappy laptop that we that you have. Uh, for example, yeah, right. <laughs> now, uh, in this computer, uh, it, it should be a little bit faster anyway, so uh, I, I shouldn't have that issue. But here's the deal. Uh, what we're going to do is that we grabbed uh, a JSON text uh, that we, it's kind of like a, 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 a something that we get from YouTube, and it is uh, 14,000 lines of code, right? Now, we are going to be using Maestri's, uh parse JSON, right? This is one of his functions. This is a function that he created for parsing uh, his own stuff. So he's... JSON parser, and he manually goes ahead and uh, creates a script object that goes ahead and parses the data and converts it into an auto hotkey object, which is what we have been trying to do. Now, on the other hand, what we're going to do is that um, here, my benchmark function, what it does is that it's going to loop uh, a specific amount of times, and it would just go ahead and load the parser, uh, master's parser, into an object. I'm just gonna check how much time that takes. Uh, remember, this is actually text. This is actually stored in a variable. So I read the text, put it in a variable. So it is just a variable that we're passing there and it's converting it in, into an object. And the solution that we ended up working with last time was using the regular expression match, right? So this is, I'm just gonna grab exactly the same text and I'm gonna use um, the regex that I have up here, just targeting the, specific information that we need. Now, that's a bit of an unfair thing. I just, you know, realized because my regular expression is just matching the things that I do need, but the the JSON parsing uh, object is parsing the whole thing, okay? So with regular regex match, just matching whatever I need and then just forgetting about everything else will result in a lot of... Uh, well speed because i'm just ignoring parts of things that i don't care about yeah now and, and that's i think we mentioned the other video so if if we were to have to add to this that with it stored into an auto hotkey object it'd be very easy for me to go through and get yes. some additional stuff with the regex oh it's much i would more have to i would have to modify the regular expression to match whatever i'm looking for so or let's say we were doing something like in that um, the 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 help the not the help that was this one the auto hotkey string lookup if we yes. were typing and searching multiple times and wanting to find different things 
you'd have to have the whole thing parsed, right, to be grabbing it. So there are pros and cons of each approach, right? Just depending on, in this case, and what we're doing, um, yeah. So one has a big advantage. Right, exactly. The big advantage is that I can ignore everything that I don't care about, but in, in other situations, you might want to have a, an auto hotkey object that it is easier for you to work with. Now, in this case, what we're going to do is just run those two, and I'm timing them out, and then setting all the information into uh, an object here. And then in the end, what I'm doing just for uh, showing you the difference of using the set batch lines command here, I'm going to do the benchmark here. I'm going to show you the average. And then I'm going to set the option of the set batch lines and then run the, the, the I'm going to perform the benchmark again. And when you do that, um, this is with the default you would get this average, and then with set batch lines, this is the other average. So for parse JSON, which is main stress function, um, with the default set batch lines, we got like 846 uh, um, milliseconds, which is almost a second uh, average time, okay? So that means that some of the times that it ran, it was a little bit uh, higher time than that, but Using the regular expression with that was just 50 milliseconds, the average. Okay, so that's that's a huge difference right there. Huge. And again, if we go ahead and set the batch lines to minus one, we do see a very big improvement on parse JSON. And then in here, you also see from 50 to 15 milliseconds. Again, I, I do say that the competition is really unfair because the, the regular ex expression that I'm using is just targeting something very narrow of... But again, this is the point of sometimes using this type of uh, uh, tricks to do well, whatever you right. need. Because in this scenario, it has an unfair advantage. Now, that's the thing. If if you're doing something like this, that's why you pick this over the right, other one. Exactly, exactly. Right, exactly. Exactly. That's the reason why I would go ahead and try that. <laughs> Man, I only want a little bit from this. Why am I parsing the whole thing? Let me try this approach. Right, exactly. Now, on the other hand, we're going to go ahead and test... Uh, Geeks, dudes, uh, C, Jason. Hey, before you do, um, do me a favor. If, do you have a screenshot? Can you grab that and move it to the side? Windows sneaking tool here. Let's go ahead and do that. So we just have it here, and it will be Windows. That's mm -hmm. it. Safe. So let's just grab this guy here. Right? So this is our previous. Benchmark, right. let me go ahead and change my settings here to run with uh, the 64 version of AutoHotKey. Uh, CJSON from GigDudes only works with AutoHotKey 64-bit, while ParseJSON from Maestrit only works with 32-bit. So they are... <laughs> oh, you know what? Target and different. Isaiah, which we didn't mention because we didn't really think about it in the other video, but that's another advantage that the regex has is it doesn't matter what version. It doesn't matter what your... Yeah, exactly. So uh, in this case, it's because these two uh, libraries are targeting different systems, but some libraries just go ahead and target both at the same time and you don't have to worry about it. But uh, some people do not want to deal with Windows 32 anymore because right. 64 is the future. So they're just... Let's well, make everything think, what the future holds. So. But the thing is, I, I mean, Geek Dude, I, I'm sure he was building this for speed. And if you're dealing with speed, then, then you're going to bid makes four. more sense. Yes, that's right. So let me go ahead and run this. The, the premise is the same. Everything is the same. I'm just going to run it twice, one with the default and one with the set batch lines minus one. So let's just go ahead and wait a little bit. And this one, you can see that the average for that one was 340. Uh, milliseconds, that's for the C uh, JSON, and 18 milliseconds for regular yeah, bring, expression. Bring that screen clipping on the top right down just so, next to it. Right, so, so so that you want to compare, right? So yeah. we're jumping from yeah. from some from 850 average time. So less than half. Yeah. Right. And from 50 to 18, okay? So, so that's, yeah. This was just... The two. Right. right, just switching so, to sixty-four bit. We just see switching to sixty-four bit makes a little bit of a, a difference that might be noticeable. Okay, now and and when would you notice that difference? Well, right now I'm just doing a benchmark of five runs. But what if I made five hundred runs? What what if I made uh, one thousand runs? 
right? So that would give me a more accurate representation of the average times for those. But I would tell, I, I would right away tell you, this would take a long time. If I do 500 seconds, that's about 10 minutes right there. You know, like it would take 10 minutes just to run a test of 100 of those. And uh, that's, we, we will not do that high number, but maybe we should try with 10 or 20. I don't know you know what's, what will happen. Right? What's interesting, though, is when, with the set batch lines on them both, the pickup isn't nearly as large, uh, the comparison between the 32 and 64-bit. Sorry. Uh, so you mean here at the bottom? Yeah. Right, because 64-bit is already running at maximum speed, probably. Um, when you are... So, so one of the things is set batch lines, what allows you to do is kind of like share your script uh, processing, uh, the CPU processing time from your script, sharing it with other scripts. So yeah, when but you're, go ahead. Sorry, right, hold on. The When you compare that to the one up above, it, it gained a lot, right, on making it run at the one. It's it's the 32 to 64 bit for whatever reason, um, those two are the, the two thirty the two twelve to two thirty four. So it it hit, uh, Geek Dudes is faster, but not by a huge margin. Right? When we're using the set batch lines, those are right. two twelve to two thirty four. That's pretty close. Yes, that's right. And I was I was just gonna try to explain why the set batch lines here is not making such a big difference. The problem is remember that set batch lines is for allowing your script to kind of like share CPU time. So the CPU, but, but the set batch line does make a big improvement. You're, when you're comparing if the set batch lines makes a big difference or not, you got to look above and below. But I'm talking about the difference between 32 bit and 64 bit. So okay. But then, yeah. So, but that that's and see that's my point. Your comparison should be thirty-two bit to sixty-four bit. Not right. These two. When right. lines are on or off. No, but I was going to explain that when you okay. have yeah. So when you have the 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 set batch lines in thirty-two bit, thirty-two bit, the processing power is less. It's cut by half. So the scripts need to fight a little bit more for the CPU time. In 64-bit, you don't have this huge fight because you have more processing, you know, space kind of bandwidth, so to speak. So you will not see that huge of a difference um, in the sense of, yeah, in 64-bit, you are, when, whenever, whenever you're doing this in 32-bit, 64-bit is already running at maximum speed all the time. So the, the change, you can see it in 32-bit a little bit more. But not, you're not gonna, you're not adding anything. You are already running at max speed on um, on 64 bit because you're using most of the processing power all the time. It's, I'm not sure if I I actually explained that a little bit kind of like correctly. I think For me it's kind of like intuitive at that point. Yeah, but I think it's still it's a to me it's a big aha that like you know what. Yeah, Geek yeah. Dude's cla uh, class is faster, but hey, you know what? If you just run it, set batch lines on in 32-bit. You, you, you get exactly, you, you get a very good yeah. improvement in whatever yeah. you're doing. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure if that's true for all CPUs, okay? So in this computer, right. the, this is kind of like the result, but how about a computer that is very slow? So if you have a, a, a computer that right. runs uh, that has a lower CPU. I don't know if the improvement would be more noticeable, um, but in any case, like I do see that even in all of those cases, you have twelve millisecond average for the regular expression. That's the lowest you can get for this particular scenario, which is grabbing some specific parts of a JSON object that is 14,000 lines long, right? So instead of actually going ahead and parsing the whole thing, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. So okay. so I think the big the big thing is, um, yeah, Geek Dudes class is, is faster, 
um, yeah. especially without turning on set batch lines, right? We see some right. big improvement. Yes. But turn them on, yeah, you can still do okay. Now, having said that, for both of them still, the regex in this example, the regex thing is still kicks butt over everything. And, and yeah, for that particular scenario, right? Right. That's right. So in any case, again, the, the, this, this uh, function is also reading the whole file. So this, this thing is reading the whole... Um, uh, What's well, processing it? For, right? Is it maybe a better way to say it? Because everything reads in the file, right? Like, it, it's all reading the file. Right, the file is right. read so before well, anything starts. Yeah, so it is processing the whole thing, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You're right. So in, in this... Uh, that's the, the only thing that I would say is, that is, is an unfair competition against the regular expression because the regular expression is just, it is also processing it, by the way. Yeah. The only See, thing I, is that it's kind of like. Right. That's why I want to be very distinct here and say, it's not that it's unfair. It's that this plays to its advantage. Right. Right. Yeah, like it It's not a surprise. You know, and I get your, what you're saying, right? I'm just saying it's, in this case, this is why we picked the, the regex because it, well, one, it was faster, but B is because it makes sense, right? Like, and that's when you do that. Now, if you wanted to have programmatic access to everything in that file. That's different. Um, then, then a regular expression is not going to well, help you. And can yeah. you imagine writing a regular expression to have grabbed every one of those attributes? So like, <laughs> no way. That's a lot, right? No, no, no. no. So that, that's no. not exactly, exactly. That's right. So basically, uh, if you need programmatic access, you need an object you should use these uh, JSON parsers so you could convert them into an auto-hotkey object, and that's fine. But if you don't need programmatic access, what, what you're doing is just grabbing text from this huge 14,000 line text. You just need some specific keywords. Then going with a regular expression might be you know, your best bet. You know? Awesome. All right, thanks, Pam. Okay. And thank you, uh, both Maestrith and Geekud, for all yeah. the stuff you guys do too as well, because. I would not want to have written any of that stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, thank you for watching that video. And I don't know if you're aware of it, but we actually do offer services. So if the stuff you're learning here is a bit above you or you just don't have time, reach out to me at joe at v-automator.com and we can talk about how we can help you.